Okay, so we've got now our uh, multimedia product with our five multimedia features, images, text, sound, animation, video, and we've got our links at the side. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in some um, extra features that are going to make it a little bit cooler. So I'm going to add in some transitions. Okay, and you've got under the word transition, you've got a, a big list of transitions up here. Okay, I quite like this kind of like honeycomb one is quite good. There's wipe, split, fade, flash. There's loads and loads of different ones. Um, so I am going to choose this push one. Okay, so that when I run it in between slides, it kind of pushes up. What I can do with this is if I select the first one, and I scroll down to the bottom and I click shift and I click the bottom one, it will select every single slide. And now I'm going to put the push on there and that will have applied it to every slide. So just to show you that, if we go through them, each one kind of pulls up. And the beauty about this is that if I use the buttons instead, okay, it still works. So I would always suggest having the same transition for each one. Okay. Right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add in um, some animations. Now it's really, really important, if I click on animations, to be careful with your animations. Okay. If you have too much stuff running around and flying about, it becomes really, really distracting. Okay. So <clears throat> we're not going to have too much. So all I'm going to have on my one is I am going to get the title to grow and turn it. I'm going to do that on all of mine. Okay, so grow and turn. The next one, I'm going to grow and turn. Okay, I'm keeping them all the same style. So it's quite nice to have a little bit of animation on there because it kind of like draws you in a bit more. So if we run that, Okay, we click it once and our grow and turn will come up. If we go to any of the video, any of the buttons, it doesn't come up automatically. We click next, it comes up like it would normally do on a PowerPoint. Okay, now that's a little bit frustrating having to click. Okay, and I'm going to show you something else that is really quite important when you're doing one of these uh, sort of touchscreen devices for a or touchscreen presentations for a uh, museum or sort of an aquarium or zoo or anything like that. What you don't actually want is if you click somewhere, for instance, if I click here, it moves to the next slide. They don't, they don't want you to do that. They want you to only use the buttons so that you don't just click and you click through the slides. Okay. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set it so it only uses the buttons. Okay. And there will be an issue with the animation once this has happened. So. If I go up here to slideshow and then I go to set up slideshow, it gives me a different choice of running it. Either I can present it as by a speaker, i.e. I'm clicking the buttons to move forward. I can do it as a, an individual in a window so I can do something else at the same time, or I can browse at a kiosk. So I'm going to change it to browsed at a kiosk. And when it says browsed at a kiosk, it means one of those things you get at um, a museum or an aquarium or a zoo, a touch screen device that you touch. And what you should notice now, if I click OK on that, is that if I click the button, let's go to green sawfish, that works. If I click anywhere else, you should be able to hear me clicking. I click the forward arrow left, right and back. It doesn't do anything. It only allows me to use the buttons. And it's purposely set up that way. So a user has to go through things in a certain order has to click on different items to get around. Okay. Now the problem here is, if we come off this one, is that my title isn't there now. Okay. If I click to go next, or I press the arrow to go next, the title doesn't appear. <clears throat> so what we have to do is change our animations to become automatic. And to do that, we click on animations, we click on animation pane, and then we right click on the animation we want. So I've got ocean waves, that's on a zero, and I'm going to go start with previous. Okay, and that means it will start automatically. 
So on this one again, start with previous. Okay, we've still got the trigger for our video there. On this one, start with previous. And this one, we're going to start with previous. And on our last one, we will do start with previous. Okay, now when I run it, let's go back to the start and run it from here. What you will notice, there we go, if we go to the Genity video, because it starts with the previous, that automatically spins in. Okay. And what you can do is then add more animation in if you would like to. I'm going to show you on the chart. So I'm going to take this off afterwards because I'm not going to really want it. So I'm going to add in, um, let's say, just a fly in. Okay, because it's on one, when I run it, the animation runs for the title, but I need to click for the other bits. So I could do start with previous. If I do right click start with previous, they both happen at the same time. Or I could do right click start after previous. And then when I run it, it'll do one and then it will do the other one. Okay. So it's really up to you how you do that. I am going to remove that animation because I don't particularly like it. And I'm just going to have my kind of main titles animating in. So that's basically how we can do the next stage. And now we have actually got a proper touchscreen kiosk based um, multimedia product that would appear in a museum or a zoo or an aquarium in that we've got our five bits of multimedia, we've got our navigation buttons, we've got animation that happens automatically, and the user can only click on the animation buttons, but not on anything else. So make sure that you've got it set as browser as a kiosk and any transitions and animations are in for your um, multimedia product, and that particularly the animations, you go to the animation pane on animations and you make sure that they start with previous or start after previous so that they start automatically.